Some of the things that contribute to a good environment. Some of the things that do what? Contribute to a good environment. To begin with, I'm not going to ask you questions because if I start by asking you questions, you take too long. I can start by answering the question. For example, what do we mean by environment? Okay. talk about the environment, we talk about what surrounds us. Who does what? Surround us. Where we live, all what surround us is what we call the environment. Okay? Mm -hmm. Be it natural or man-made. Natural or what? Man-made. Natural is what God has created, which includes the rivers, the paris, the mountains, everything. That is our environment. And then man-made because we, for example, build houses, okay, we make roads. Okay, so all that is what we call our environment. All right? Yes. So when we talk about we human beings. What we make, we make them to make our environment good. All right? Yes. When we live in it, we are happy. For example, we make, we build buildings, our houses and all that. And that now contributes to making our environment very good for us to live in. Mm. You understand? Yes. In the process of making our environment look good, be good for us, we in very many cases destroy the environment, right? Yes. Over time, we find that our environment becomes very bad, and therefore, it becomes very difficult for us to live. So here at Manjahe, what we have done, we have tried to capture, to make some of these things very good. For us to live in, okay? Yes. I'll take you around and I'll be looking at the very many things that are already captured in your books, right? Yes. For example, when we come to your books here, we are looking at farmers being told to correct soil sample, okay? Yes. The soil is the loose cover that we see. Finding planners here being told to take various soil samples. So we shall see sand here, okay? We shall look at sand, we shall look at loam soil, we shall look at clay, okay? Right. And then, after taking the soil samples, we shall also look at the qualities of Also look, look at how you use that soil. Okay? Yes. But, uh, uh, when you are looking at the soil samples, you will be looking at the sizes of the particles in the soil. Okay? Yes. Each of the type has various particles. You know, sizes. So we shall get to a point where we, will, we might need to, to fill the soil so that we can talk about the qualities of the soil. Okay? Yes. Then we shall also see how we use the soil, where you see what we have planted on the soil. Okay. Now we go ahead and uh, out of making our environment good, 
We make manure also. We make what? Manure. Manure is food for the plant. Food for the plants is what we call manure. Okay? Yes. We also be seeing some of the manures that we make here as food for the plants. Okay? Yes. Food for the plants is we call manure. And then you shall also see that we have planted some plants which now consume that manure. That food for We may not have some of the ready, we may not have some of the ready uh, crops that we have planted, all right? We may not have ready, but you can see it's continuing to grow, okay? okay. Then we shall also look at other players in the environment, for example, we shall be looking at birds. We also have birds here. You shall see birds and their homes. See birds and homes they live in. What do you call the home of a bird? Nest. Huh? Yes. It's a nest. I think everybody knows. Everybody's heart was up. Yeah, that, that's very good. Eh? Everybody knows the name of the house of a bird. So you shall see very many houses for these birds. Okay? Yes. Now, we also have chicken. So you shall see chicken and where they also live. And they live in a cage. Kitchen, I mean a uh, chicken cage, cage where you build for chicken. We have one rabbit, so we might also have to look at the rabbit. <coughs> uh, something else I also want you to look at is the enemies of the, the animals that we keep, for example, chicken. I think Natasha knows very well some of the enemies. What are the enemies of some of the uh, enemy animals we keep? An enemy. Mongoose is one of the enemies. Huh? Mole. Yes, mole is also an enemy. Squirrel. Squirrel. Eagle. Eagle. Monkey. Monkey. Oh. Huh? Oh. What is that? Oh. Hawks, yeah? Uh -huh. Kite. Kite. Uh -huh. Is there a bird called kite? Yes. Uh -huh. River bird? River bird. Huh? Huh? There is one that you are not saying that is very which we are going to see here. An enemy or some of the of the ones that I will tell you a cat. A what? Is this an enemy? Of chickens. Huh? Of chickens. Yes, you know it. Yes. One of the problems you are having today here is a cat and is an enemy. Okay, we will have to get up to there. So I'll take you around, and then I want I want you you you, you. most likely what will happen is that the teacher will be asking you what you saw, and you write it down. Okay. So we'll start there. I will, con I will go telling you what it is. Everything you see, I tell you what it is. So you put it in your mind. Everything you see, we go around like that, and then we go out. Okay? Right. So you this grass is planted here for one purpose. Okay? It, it is the one that helps us to consume the waste of water that we produce here at the same time. You do what? The waste water that we keep up there. When we clean, when you come and use the swimming pool, we clean it, and when we clean it, we store that waste water up in the tanks. Okay? We have planted this grass, which now we feed with that water, and you can see the grass is very green, isn't it? Yes. That is one way of protecting our environment because the waste water that we are producing there, if we let it lose all over, is going to be very unsightly to the environment. So when you look at it, you'll be seeing that water, okay? So that water, we, put, we, we, and anyway, we give this grass, and the grass grows very nicely. You can even see the other day, watermelon started growing where? Yeah, 
This is water. Yeah. The same watermelon is is uh, enjoying the same water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now the corner here. I am planting something that is called rosemary. Rosemary is used as a herb. Is a what? Very nice. Who has ever uh, seen rosemary in their houses? You have seen it. You have seen rosemary. Eh? So now I have planted rosemary and luckily it is growing. Eh? Okay? Something else I am also going to say here. And don't forget. When we talk about growing of plants, okay? There are various methods of growing plants. One of which we use by cuttings. You cut a piece of it. You put it in the ground and it grows. Rosemary is a very good example of a plant that is propagated by cuttings. So you cut it and you see it has grown. In the process of growing it, some of it refuses to grow. So you see this one did not develop the root, so I have uprooted it. But you can see here, this one has agreed to grow. Okay? This grass here, I have planted by cuttings. By what? Cutting. Cutting. So what I've done, I've gone to that grass which I had planted earlier, <coughs> cut small pieces, I've come and planted them here. Okay? So you see now they are growing. Yes. Now still here, you can see there are some trees that are growing, trying to grow these trees here. Okay? Mm -hmm. These trees are the same ones that are around the, the main entrance, but these ones have grown through seeds. They have grown through what? Seeds. So the seeds have germinated. There are many, but then I'm leaving only like three of them to grow. Okay? Right. So let's take short, 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 short. When we are looking at our environment, also we plant trees that we call ornamental. Ornamental for making the place look good. So the example is these are called palm trees. These palm trees, I am planting them there in pots, bedding, taking them somewhere else to go and plant. Here, here, I have sugar cane. And we've also talked about enemies. This sugar cane is being eaten by ants. Okay? And you see at the bottom, if you look at it very closely, the ones that are near there, you can you see some, some termites. They are called termites or ants. Yes. Can you see them? Yes. You can see them. Yes. Can the ones far see them? Look here. Yes. Look there. Can you see? Yes. The sugar cane has been eaten by um. termites. Okay? Yes. The termites also indicates why they called mutual. Okay? They are enemies because they also eat our crops. And for example, they have eaten which? Sugar cane. Can you see that? So this one now is already dead. It's dying because it has been eaten by termites. Are you learning something there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. We have not started eating it. When you want to start eating this, we shall call for a sugar cane eating party. All right? Yes. We shall have a what? Sugar cane eating party. Yes, the Academy Sugar cane eating party. We shall have one when they are more. So all this is, we have planted pepper. This is pepper, yeah? There's some grass here that people use. This grass, people use it and they take it as a herb. They take it as what? Herbs. Usually some women will put it in tea. Lemon. Yes, confirm. Is it the one? It is the one. Let's not, let's not uh, take a lot of it, but at least you can share it. If you rub on your fingers, you can see it. Oh, oh, everyone wants, eh? Can you share that? Because I don't want to damage it. Okay, fine. Let's move on. That one is planted there. Ah, okay. Right. Sometimes you put this herb we call mint. You call it? A very nice herb. Okay? It's good for, for eating. You, you, you feel good when you are eating it. We are going on. Now here, when you are learning about how plants make their food, we always talk about the plants 
the plants, we see that the plants are green because they use the green coloring matter to make their own fruit. Okay? So you can see this is a plant that is green. Eh? It makes its own food, isn't it? You can also see that there are some that also have, uh, we call it variegated leaves. I think it's in their books, eh? teachers. Is there in their books? Well, you get a leaves, the leaves that are not necessarily green, but they still make their own food. food. Okay, so I planted this for you to see. I planted them differently so that you see. But all the same, this kind of a plant, we use it to make a hedge. To do a what? To make a hedge or what we call a right fence, okay? You can see at the school, we have also planted all around the school, we have planted kayapo, which makes a good fence. And you see what we are saying? When we continue making our fences with stones, it's not very good. Is it good? No. But when you plant this kind of uh, plants to make your, your hedge, to make your fence, it looks beautiful, isn't it? And it also produces oxygen for us. Do you know that uh, when we breathe in, breathe in again, Breathe out. <coughs> so when we breathe in, we breathe in a lot of air. Out of that air, we use oxygen and we throw out carbon dioxide. Okay? Yes. The, the plants will take the carbon dioxide and throw out what? Oxygen, which we make. So when our, our environment is uh, buildings like all this, you know, it's not helping us a lot because it is only using. You know? It's only for our eyes, it's not helping us to produce oxygen. But these ones produce oxygen which we take. Mental, is an ornamental tree. It's a, it's a cypress tree, but it is usually used for fun. These ones are flowers, okay? They are what? Flowers. These flowers they are very nice. These flowers are very nice. Let me tell you some of, something about these flowers. And I don't know whether the teachers know. I, 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 I tell you, these flowers, they are grown at large scale in many places. And they are the ones that produce a seed that is used to make perfumes that we make. You know? So if you smell it, can you all share the flower, I mean the leaves? Lap them, share yeah, the leaves, lap them. Share yeah, the leaves, lap them, and tell me what kind of. Oh, there's a lot, there is a lot, there is a lot. There is a lot. There is a lot. These are weeds. They are what? Weeds. We have left them here for you to see what weeds are. What are weeds? They are plants that are planted, okay? Or rather, they are plants that grow where they are not required to grow, okay? But here we don't have a particular crop. But these are generally weeds, okay? They are weeds. When they are growing like that, you can even see there are very many insects. Can you see there are many insects flying from here? This is a good environment. It's what? It's a good natural environment because the, 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 the insects are happy. Can you feel they're happy? They are feed, feeding all their flowers and all that, okay? Yes. All right? Now, I can even see somebody here trying to remove some, some, some whatever. What do, do you know what those are? No, they are not black. Those are just seeds that are attacking his trout. When we, when we talk about dispersal of weeds, when we talk about how you, how you disperse, how you, how you scatter seeds, we say that some seeds are scattered by animals, isn't it? So you know that, I think it's in one of your books. Animals come and transport them from one place to another, okay? Yes. So the 
one that is holding on your socks, when you are removing it like that, then you are one of the animals that is helping disperse the what? The seeds. You understand? Yes. Yes. Also for the guavas. Yeah. For the guavas, when the birds eat the guavas, exactly. they go and dispose the waste somewhere else. Yes, and the tree knows. Yes. Good. Are uh, you moving on? This is a very important place for you. Because when we are looking at plants, we have plants. All right, are we there? We have plants that cannot support themselves, like this coconut that is grown in your book. Okay? I have a palm tree here. Okay? This palm tree and the family of coconut tree are the same. They grow tall and they stand by themselves. Okay? So soon this one will be very big. It will be up there. It will be standing by itself. But here you can see I have another one here, which we call passion fruit. You call it? Passion fruit. Passion fruit cannot stand by itself. So what it does, it grows its own fingers. Yes, these are its own fingers. They are called what? What do you call them? What do you call these fingers? They are called tendrils. Good. That is what I wanted to hear from you. You see them in the books, isn't it? But here you are seeing them practically. Okay? Without damaging a lot, you can see these are Ted Reels. They are what? These Ted Reels are the ones that help these plants to hold on other things so that it can climb up. And do what? So you see, it's trying to climb. Eh? I'm trying to get it climb up here. So I've even put some nails. You can see I put some nails. Eh? And because there are no those things sticking out of this wall, they are not able to hold. But you can see here, if I plant, or like I plant for a day or two, you can see that it grows and it grows round, round, isn't it? Yes, and you see like this one, because it hasn't managed to find anything, you see, it has not managed to find anything, so it just continues coiling, 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 and there's nothing to hold, okay? So, but I'm trying to encourage it to hold on something, okay? So I think the best thing to do. so that they can do good, okay? The right word to use there is trim. Do what? Trim. I use... What do you call it? No, not just lasher. I use secateur, okay? For cutting. So I've just done it. I've just trimmed it, okay? So I trim it to keep a nice edge, okay? For our environment, for our what? Yes, you can see it is very cool air. It is cool air because, number one, there is a bit of breeze or some wind coming from the sea, okay? And then coming to where we have the tree, isn't it? So it is very, very nice, isn't it? So when it's hot, you can just come and sit here, and then you take a sonda, and then you feel it, isn't it? as a banana. Okay. <coughs> this one, when we are propagating, when we are doing what? Propagating. We plant suckers. We plant what? Suckers. 
we plant saka. A saka is that small one there. That small one is the one we call a saka, okay? It's coming from the root there and then it, it is growing out. So we cut it and go plant it somewhere else. And then it also grows many suckers and by doing that, we propagate more and more and more. All okay? Somewhere because the teacher wants to know what you saw, then you say what you saw. What did you see? I look at the heads. How are the heads? Huh? Black, brown, and white. Yes, they are black, brown, and white. They are types of sheep. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. and they are they actually from some place they call Dopa. So they are dropper with the black head, brown head, and white head. Can you see that? So the one that has a white head is small, isn't it? Okay? So it's looking like it's really a surprise that you are here. Okay. Whoa! That's environment for that planting they are not growing very well you can see they are tall they are dying and i mean they are they are bending the reason is simple number one i have planted them very close to each other so because of planting them very close they cannot grow strong can you see that but the next time i'm planting i'm going to make sure that they are so that is quick the next one is, uh, what do you call it? Um, sorghum. It's actually sweet sorghum and uh, the so-so. The ones that you, you make in the Unga uh, uh, for college. They are all from there. Millet. Yes, millet. There's yeah. millet. There's millet and there's sorghum and there's uh, the other one is called. Mm. They are actually there. One, two, three, four. This one five, okay? Yes. Coming all the way. And of course you can see I have onion. So what you can see is that all the ones that are grasses, they are grasses in nature because you have either beans or grasses, isn't it? Yeah. Those ones I have planted the seeds, okay? When you come to the onion, we have planted suckers. Okay? We planted a sucker from the onion. From here, the ones that are blood leaves, we have planted seeds, okay? We have beans. Can you see we have beans? Yes, and I think there is the uh, thing we have already planted in this. What do you call it? What do you call this? Dengo is called, not Dengo, but uh, Kunda is. Cowpeas. 
No cow peas yet. This is cow peas. I planted it there. Ah, yeah. Let's continue. Sweet corn. Have you ever eaten popcorn? The popcorn is a poisonous plant. That is called what? What is the poisonous uh, thing that you have in your in your book? It's called the datura. Is it it's in your book? Here is datura. Here is what? You don't cut the leaf, but this is datura. Okay. This is what? Datura. I plant the datura. It's a very poisonous one. It can easily kill the animals like if a rabbit feeds on this it will die if a goat feeds on this it's going to die okay if it stands right in the fire you can see don't, don't get in here too much Vela. this one is very nice because we also make things from it okay all right something i planted here when we are talking about how seeds are dispersed there's one here that is dispersed using the wind. Using the what? Okay, look at that. Look at that. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? All those are seeds. They are what? Seeds. So where they are going to drop, they will germinate. They will what? You see, it's like wool. Okay? You see, it is like what? Wool, eh? Where it will go, it will have to, to drop somewhere in the soil and it will do what? Germinate. It will germinate. This is an example of a plant whose seeds are dispersed by wind. Okay? How they germinate. Okay. Now, here, I have another two that are important. Number one, arrows. You have what? Arrowroot is here and you, you plant arrowroot by number one. The same arrowroot, you cut the, the tuber and eat the tuber. What remains, you go and plant it. And it's here, we plant it in this grow. The other one here is the other one is the sweet potato. Sweet what? The sweet potato, this one, we propagate it by planting You plant what? Cardio. And it's already growing here, okay? Mm -hmm. I am. Where, where are we? Now, I want to show you another one that we plant. Here, you can see this glass. This glass is what we call the Kikuyu grass. You call it what? <laughs> When we are planting the cool grass, it is one example where we have two methods of planting. Number one, you can cut a piece and plant and it will grow. Okay? We have what we call the nodes. The what? Can you all do your fingers like this? The joint is called a node. It's called what? You have a joint here and a joint here. Between the two, we call it inter nodes. Inter nodes. Between two nodes. Eh? So when it comes to glasses, when you cut, you make sure that there is a node. There is a what? When that node is buried in the soil, roots come out. Roots do what? So we say that you plant by cutting. Plant by what? Another way is that. <coughs> We show you because you have it. We have it. It's here. <coughs> you can see it has grown some suckers. These suckers are called when you, you remove it like this and plant. We call it a split. We call it a what? We call it a split. S P L T. You split it like that. Split it many times and plant it, and they all grow. So grasses have, in fact, green ways because some grasses also have seeds that are also in the okay? Of yeah. course, well, the others are flowers. I have uh, potato, potatoes which we plant through, potatoes we plant through what? the tuber, okay? You just take a tuber and plant it, okay? You plant the potato. Hello, when you are going far, you, you don't get the point. 
Yeah, so potatoes are planted using the tuber. And once you use the tuber, then you can grow the potato itself. So this one very soon is going to also start getting its own tubers, okay? Right. Then from there, remember at the point we said we, we have the soil and the soil, each of the type of the soil can hold water, isn't it? How each of them can hold what? Water. So here, I want to show you. Aya. Are we all looking? Aya. Here, in this bag, I have what we call the boom soil. The what? The room soil. This is the room soil. Room soil. This one. Yeah. Because of your books, I'm not going to ask you to hold that. This one. This is like red. Okay? Yeah? Or kind of brown, eh? This is room soil from around. What? It's like black, eh? Look at this clay soil. It's even wet. This is what? Wet. It has a higher capacity of holding water. Higher capacity of being what? But then, although it has a high capacity of holding a lot of water, when it loses water, it becomes very dry and it starts cracking. Okay? So you still can see it somewhere. You can see it here. Okay? This is, you can see it's even breaking a lot. Eh? This is a clay soil that has dried. You see? It is very dry. Can you see that? Yeah. This is a clay soil that is very, very dry. Okay? So when clay soil... Uh, this is the type of an onion. This is the type of an onion. Yeah, I don't know exactly, but it's an onion. Yes. Now, I want to tell you about the other type. We have... We have... Another type of red soil. This red soil here, this one here, is available somewhere in Muranga. This one, you see? This is some red soil that is actually some room soil. This is room soil. It is what? But it is found somewhere in Muranga. It's just a volcanic soil. But its color is red. Eh? In Rikoyo, where the, you find this, this soil, they call it Rutune, okay? All right? Somewhere in Moranga. I got this one from somewhere in Moranga, okay? Yes. Then, this one here, which I don't... How many people have ever gone to Mombasa? Oh, good. We have a big number. This is the sand from the sea. From the what? This is the ocean sand. Ocean the beach sand. This one is the beach sand. I brought it from Mombasa. Okay? It's very fine. It's like salt. Very fine. I don't want to encourage you for taking it because you might finish it. Okay? This one, it is soil from the, I mean, it is sand from the coast. Okay? Sand from where? The coast. This one is for pottery. Yeah. Yes. Okay? So I brought it for you to to see. And of course, I have some other, some other one here. What is that? What do you call this? This is chaco. This is chaco. Where do you get chaco from? How do you make chaco? Huh? How do you make chaco? How? Nobody knows how to make chaco. How do you make chaco? Chaco you make how, like how? Sailing, huh? speak. Who knows how we make chaco? How? Uh -huh. yes, yes, yeah, but simply, you make chaco by burning. Wood, isn't it? Yeah. If you 
you ask how to make charcoal, you make charcoal by burning. Mm -hmm. Now we call fan. 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 fan is an example of a plant that is non flowery. It does not give you a what? Flowers. A flower. It doesn't give you flowers. Have you seen it? And here I have many types. I have this one. I also have another one here. Okay. The difference is actually the, the size of it. Okay. We even have a bigger one here. You see? All these are fans, okay? They are all non-flowering, okay? We have some pl plants that have bones, isn't it? Yes. Plants that have what? Bones. Yeah? And they are very mealy. This is an example of a plant that grows bones. Why do they grow bones? Who knows? Why? Huh? Exactly. That is a good answer. They produce bones in order to protect themselves. From who? Enemies, isn't it? Yes. You might want to plant, you see, like now this one has a very nice red flower. Can you see it's very nice? Yes. So, for you to stop going picking it, it produces? Yes, thorns. And in very many cases, areas, okay? Mm -hmm. The ones that are, are growing in very, very dry areas produce a lot of thorns because they don't have the luxury of growing a lot of ribs and uh, those animals they are like which animal is this which one is this which one which animal is this the one that is like that uh, elephant yeah. giraffe. the giraffe will be out there in the by the dawn there will be what exactly they will be plicked oh, you know a lot of english they will be pricked by the bones. Once they are pricked, they stop eating them. So the plant will survive because it has protected itself. Okay? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Then I have cactus. Cactus. That one is oh, yeah, cactus. This one is the one that produces very expensive food that is called dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Fruit. Very tasty. This is cactus, okay? This cactus is the one that produces what we call dragon fruit. And I'm told that dragon fruit costs how much per piece? Who knows? It is 135 for market. How much? 135. Shilling? Yeah. Where? In Naivas. What? Uh, at Embu. I don't know near here where there is because it is produced in uh, Bere. It is in costing 3,500 shillings a piece. Dragon fruit. Okay? It's grown by this cactus. Of course, I have other things here like flowering plants and all that. Okay? For a container like that, put some soil and plant your own peanut. And you make your own. Yeah? Garden. A kitchen is called a kitchen. Garden. Garden eh? There's something else here. This one is called what? Is a fish. How do you make fish? Who knows how you can make fish? Somebody tell me. How do you make fish? Yes, you burn clay. The clay you are having there is a good example you can use to make fish. Okay. For the plants, isn't it? Here I am making food for the plants. How am I making food for the plants? I am making food for the plants by introducing other worms. Introducing what? Other worms. I'm introducing other worms. This, this one. Eh? So what I do, all the leaves that drop in this compound, I put them here and they are eaten by other worms and they produce what do they produce very good manure very good fine manure for i'll show you much more up there what am 
Some of it smell when it's breaking down. Can you see this? This is waste that is smelly. It's smelly. I don't know who can smell this and tell us. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? It's smelling very badly, isn't it? Yes. Some of this waste food include eggs. And you know egg, when the egg goes bad, it produces very bad smell. Isn't it? Yes. So what we do here, we collect all that waste, okay? We put it together, and then we separate it. We remove plastic bottles, okay? Then we also remove nylon paper, okay? And then we feed it to the worms. Feed it to the what? Worms. So now let me... What do now? All this waste, the waste we have been talking about is here. Can you see the waste? Egg shell. Okay. Also, we have the seeds from mangoes. Okay. We have any other waste. Okay. Any other what? Waste. Any other what? We put all that waste together. And then, and then, we feed them on worms. These are what? Can you all see? These are earth worms. Can you see earth worms? Earth worms. Are you there? Can you see earth worms? These are the worms. Are the ones that feed on that waste from the kitchen. Okay. The waste from the kitchen are fed on by these earth. So we make our, ve our environment very good by feeding, bringing these worms here, and they eat what? They eat the waste. Can you see? You see they eat what? They eat the waste. Some of the waste they eat include uh, peelings from potatoes. Okay? Some of the waste include carrot waste. Okay? Some of it include banana waste. Some of it include cabbage waste. Some of it include, okay? Include paper. Like this. You see, this is paper. You see? Paper like this. You see this paper? We put it here. You see, these are pieces of carton. Okay? Pieces of carton. We put it where? There. Some of it include dropping from the leaves. These are leaves. Can you see these are leaves? We put it where? There. So once we put it there, we only create a very nice environment by wetting the compound. I mean, the, the we, we, we put a bit of worms and, and, and some water so that they feed nicely, okay? You put the worms? Yeah, the worms are here. These are worms, and they're good, they're many. Can you see how they're many? 
Yeah. What are they for? Director? The, the worms. <laughs> See, they are the ones that are eating the waste. The kitchen waste is being fed on by these worms. Can you see these are miscops? Yes. And this one here, this one, uh, this is the peelings from the potato. Because at Manjahe, what we do, we do not put somebody to peel the potatoes. We use the potato peeler that is there. So that potato peeler is the one that peels, including what you normally take at school. So the peeling is brought it where? And this, this is the one. And it's eaten by the worms. And eventually, okay, let me show you here. Eventually, after all that has happened, this is the manure that we make from there. Yeah. Can you see very nice manure? Yeah. What can I say? This is grey, this is grey, this is grey, this is very nice manure, very nice, manure. this manure is made from the kitchen waste and it's made by what, it's made by the worms, that's another worm, that's a, I have done a bad age stage here, that's a, a, a pupa that I've killed, a pupa that pupa stage. A pupa of an insect, I've just seen it and it's very bad. I didn't see it, I'm sorry. Oh. Now it's a pupa stage of one of the insects. So you can see, so Eve in Wetaidi, Eve where? In Marava. In Juja. In Madare. If we collected all that waste coming from the kitchen, and we put very many other ones. They are going to eat the waste and they are going to produce fertilizer like what? This manure, okay? This manure is very good, okay? Then we can also make. And let me pass there. That's a seed from the mango tree. What happens? Because it's very, very fertile here, it germinates. Can you try to remove it? Let me show them. No, ah. don't break it. No, don't break it. Excuse me. Let me show you. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. There are so many. People are very scared. Look at this. <laughs> The mango so it has already germinated very nicely. Can you see that? Yes, even another one. Yeah, they are many, they are many. Mm -hmm. You can look at it, you put it there. And then, yeah, look at it, look at it. 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 You can see it. Yeah. <laughs> they are very scared. You are killing me, Now, okay, I wanted to tell you. What else we do? When we put water here, the water dissolves all the nutrients. Dissolves the what? And then we tap it here. When we tap it, this is what we get. We get what? This liquid here is very rich in nutrients. Can you see a color? Very rich in what? This is a fertilizer, is a what? That one you can use it to irrigate, I mean to spray your potatoes, tomatoes, and so on and so forth. Okay? Yes. I have shown you there. Once they eat it, once they won't eat that waste, they produce manure that does not smell. Can you see? That does not do what? Smell. Okay? So if you can manage, if I was sure that at home you can manage to keep a small container, I can give you some worms. So that you go and uh, every time you have something remaining from the house, you feed the worms. And it does, you don't have to throw it in the, you know what you call the place where you go throw it? Dumpings. And you see it, it starts smelling, 
you cannot even pass there like we take you. How many people here are living in Tegi? Ah, we tell you we come there with the, the governor cleaning the, the, the environment every time and it's a lot of fuel. Because we don't care. Now, the last one I want to show you. Now, here, out of the waste that is made by animals, made by what? Cows and pigs and goats and all that. I've already shown you goats, isn't it? Some of the waste that is made by animals. Because we have said living things do what? What do living things do? Yes, they produce the food. In it. They excrete. Is that what we have been saying? So that, those that can, uh, they grow, they reproduce, they die, eh? they excrete. With those qualities, those are living and living things, isn't it? A cow, a goat, a pig are living animals. They are living things. A cow produces some of this, that waste, and that waste is what we are using here to produce gas. To produce what? And that is what is called bio gas. The gas that is produced, and we use it for cooking. We use it for what? Cooking. We have a banner that uses that gas. Okay? Apparently, this one is only going to start tomorrow, but it's already full of gas. There's gas here. What we do, we bring the animal waste and we put it there at that end. Okay? Let me, let me go there. Let me move there. Let me, let me come here. We feed where? We feed it here, okay? When we put it here, are you all seeing? Okay? It goes inside there. And uh, can you stop? Watcha, watcha. Stop right here. It is, it is uh, converted by some bacteria that inside there produces a gas and that gas passes there all the way to the kitchen, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. You can see it is stinky. <laughs> the one that's coming on the other side is not smelling, okay? Uh, let's move out now. <laughs> Organize. When you go to the left, you might see these locks. These are the volcanic locks. Eh? Okay? Usually they are very light. Eh? I know at home you might find that uh, your mother has bought some stone for scrubbing the feet, isn't it? That stone is like this, it's coming from the left, okay? For scrubbing. Some people have very hard soul, isn't it? They scrub it eh? with this kind of. So this comes from, and it's very light stone, okay? That's why it is here for showing you. And then, the last one. Let me put this one here. Type of log, which we call sand. Said what? Said man. Tare. Tare. I think they will cover that somewhere. Okay, when you get to that, we can show you later when you come, okay? okay. But I have all sorts of, so, so there are new stones here. I have all of, all, all of them here. And uh, this is also a very important one. You might find it here and think it's not necessary. This one, can you see it's now smooth? It's very smooth, it's like a seed, isn't it? Yeah. Very smooth. I have very many around, you can see them. This stone, is used by water. Used by what? Water. To cause, to cause soil, soil what? Erosion. Yes. So, in the river, when this is turned many times down the stream, it goes wearing the the bed, the river bed, isn't it? It goes wearing. And when it says, where is it? A lot of blue soil is taken down, 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 down to the valley. Okay? Yeah. So this one, you can call it a tool of erosion. A tool of what? Erosion. Does 
like can you, like you can take a hammer or like you can take a panga or you know this nest. Yes. You are nest. Are you seeing many of them? Yes. Nest, huh? These are houses for who? Yeah. You know what you call the dad that lives in here? This one is called the weaver. Called the weaver. weaver. We have the weaver bird here, which lives here. We have very many of them here. They live where? This minute I've sent them to go to the field. They have been there. So when they, it's getting dark in the evening, they'll come back. They'll come and sleep where? Okay. So have you seen the homes of my birds? And I have very many others around. In fact, I think I have very, very many. Uh, I don't know. Have you ever seen the home of a sparrow? Who knows a sparrow? The bird that goes like this with an open beak, collecting all the insects in the air. Who has ever seen that bird? Spoda? Sparrow. Who has ever seen it? Sparrow? You have ever seen a sparrow? Let's see where that is here. Let's make noise once more. I think they are gone. They are not here. They live where? They live here. This is the homes for my sparrows. I have some sparrows that live with me here. They live where? Here. Okay. They are gone. Sparrow. You can go check in the channel or when you go home, tell your parent to give you the phone and you check what bird a sparrow is, okay? A sparrow goes hunting for food with the beak open like this, okay? So any, any insect that comes across, it's swallowed, eh? It's called a sparrow, okay? So I have the houses for a sparrow here. This one, two, and then the other side I also have another two, okay? And then you match there and go and ask questions. How the rest on the walls? This is a sparrow. Have you seen it? Yes? Just to disturb them. No. 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 Yes. no. At least you see them flying, isn't it? Let, let, me, let me show you what I do. They will not come. They will not come here. I don't even know where I can reach them. Ah, yeah. Are we looking? Yes. Are we looking? Yes. That is the house. Okay, I think the teachers can carry that. The children can enjoy seeing the the home of a wasp. Okay, the home of what? A wasp. Eh? You can see it produces something to make sure that it hangs it somewhere, isn't it? Okay. So all those holes, eh? each one carries an egg. A what? Yeah. It carries an egg and then they uh, grow don't. into. Okay, I'll give you my don't, don't break it fast. because I want the teacher to show you. You learn a few days, eh? okay? Mm -hmm. Have you learned something? Yes. Yeah. Any questions that I need you to go back with me? Yeah, yeah, they are coming. Okay, okay, let's give them space. Don't fight them. They are when they we have very limited 
tiny bird here. This is a nest for a bird. Okay? Very tiny one. And it's not the only one. I, if you look very closely, you see many of them. Very tiny, you know. Even behind there, we have very many, we have very many nests. You can make folia uh, yes. Yes, 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 you can make compost, you know, yeah. 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 good, eh? yeah. Alright, I think now they can go back, um, they want to encourage, and they can come, you know they will forget, eh? Yeah. And come, and come, and come, and come, let's use it, because I also don't want to talk to other parents about, and uh, children do not know what to do. So they can go write a story. They can write many stories and please mark them, mark what they have seen. You know, and if you look at the book, the environment book and agriculture book, I have incorporated a lot of it. Okay. All right. Nobody okay. can say thanks on behalf of others with the phone. One person we ask in about one person. One person, person. Yeah. Yeah. at least we talk on behalf of others. Mm -hmm. Will you give a speech on our behalf? Can I choose? Okay. It's called a boat of land. Yeah? Can do a Happy time, do it. <laughs> Welcome and come again, eh? All right? And then you can tell the other children. And us as learners, we are very happy to know most of the things that you never knew. Have you ever seen a millet growing? Mm -hmm. huh? no. You only find it in the studio sh shops, do you? Yeah. And now you've seen them. So what do you say to our director? Thank, Thank you, you so much. Welcome again. When you come, you find out how my seeds have grown. A lot of seeds planted.